Hey guys, this is Tabia Sobi, and today, today I am inside the closet. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally inside a closet. <laughs> because there are crickets outside my house, and you can hear them through every window, including the one right next to my computer where I usually record my voice. My smooth, super silky voice. Fortunately, I have a Zoom H1 handy recorder that I can use, so yeah, I'm inside the closet. Well, inside a closet. <laughs> Recording stuff right now. Yeah, and what we happen to be recording is yet another installment of Explorer Shorts for Dragon Quest Builders 2. This time we're doing the first of three post-game optional explorer's islands, and that would be Coral K. And I picked this specific one because I remember somebody in the comments asking me if I was going to do the post-game stuff. I believe they mentioned Coral K specifically. And I know why. Because <laughs> this is another one of those Pain in the butt maps. It's not even because stuff is hard to find. It's just because most of the stuff is underwater. <laughs> and when you're underwater, it's a little bit of a pain because you move slower and then you gotta find a way to get some oxygen because you run out of breath. So you either surface again or find some air bubbles. And if you happen to have to fight monsters, you move slower. So yeah, all in all, it's probably not the favorite map of a lot of people. And I know my niece especially doesn't like this map. Because <laughs> the last time she was doing this map, she actually asked me if I knew any special tricks or items that can let her move faster underwater. So to make your life a bit easier, there are some pointers. Number one, <laughs> the coral colony and the coral are actually two separate things. But they're usually together. And I mentioned this because I thought the whole thing was a colony. So I was just sort of examining the colony, but not the little coral offshoots around it. And so I had to circle back and find these coral things again when I could have just examined them the first time I saw the colony. So that's tip number one, in case you're slow on the uptake like I am. <laughs> tip number two, the black coral is actually pretty rare. At least it was in my case. It's like there was only one in the first map. And then subsequent maps, I couldn't even find any. And so I made the mistake of accidentally destroying it without having checked the small coral pieces yet. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I destroyed it. Now I gotta reload this map, find it again. But all you really need to do is if you destroyed it and picked up the pieces, you just need to take that out of your inventory, place it down on the ground, and then check that. And you should be golden. Speaking of golden, there's a golden golem in this island that you can recruit. And it's actually the only monster in Coral K that is recruitable. So make sure to bring some of those monster treats just in case RNG smiles upon you and he wants to join your party. It's also actually one of four super strong monsters in this island. The other three are mermen of varying colors. And so one of them usually you can find underwater like really deep. So you pretty much have no choice but to fight it in those kind of slow conditions. I pretty much just ride a golem, smack it once or twice and then dodge. So that worked pretty well for me. The other mermen, however, are usually higher up and closer to the surface. And so what you can do to make your life easier is just to bait them the moment you get their attention and then lead them to shore. And so while you're on the shore, you can smack them pretty fast, whereas some of their attacks won't even work on you. So that makes the fight way, way, way easier. And in fact, you can kind of do the same thing with a golden golem as well. Like usually you don't want to lead the golem to water because then that's like a terrible scenario for you. But if you can kind of get it trapped below you and it can't jump up to reach you, then you can just get some free hits on it. Granted, some of its attacks can destroy your footing, so just be careful about that and back off when you see it happening. But if you can get it trapped, then it's like just free pot shots, especially when you're riding a golem like that. Yeah, so anyway, that's my quick rundown of Coral K. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. Once again, this is Tabia Sobi. Thank you for watching, and here is the rest of the video.
Thank <laughs> you. 